The Kamba tribes have come to New York City, the center of all evil in the United States. They've heard a rumor about a mysterious organization, Ground Zero, who controls the street gangs of America. I wonder if Ground Zero leaders here. I have no idea. Let's go where the action is. That's where we can find the Ground Zero leader. Salutations and welcome to Let's Play The Kamba Tribes. Real quickly, go into my options and change my credits to 7, because I'm gonna need them. I used to be hella good at this game. Used to maybe need like a credit, maybe two. Eh. And like Streets of Rage 1, I need greasy fast speed. Berserker I used the uh, quite a bit. Bulva's really slow and hits really hard, but First things first. Knock these dudes down. Some grab them by the feet. And you can just get over them and knock them that way. Oh, I forgot I had that move. Oh, he's dead. Oh, got one. Just let me quick work at these guys if you just can manage to hit them while they're down. Just pound on them until they die that way. Remember how good my running attack is, too. Oh, he's over this way. Hey, you guys, what are you doing? These guys are wimps, are blasted with my slab of lumber. Just keep close. Yeah, first boss already. After a while, you knock the... out of him. Stay close. Trying to get the jump on him, but I don't think I'm close enough. There we go. Done. That's level one. <laughs> yeah, pretty quick game if you know what you're doing. Hey, fathead. What do you know about Ground Zero? Nothing. I'm just a slave. Well, then who does know something, you slob? The Demon Clouds. They control Coney Island. I thought the Warriors controlled Coney Island. Oh, I got a password. But that's not what you think it's for. It's actually to unlock the characters you just bit in a versus mode. One player, two player. The warriors have uh, all but died out back in the 70s. 70s, early 80s? I think it was like turn of the century, turn of the decade practically. Something about the, uh, these clowns with the pins, you can't throw them. They'll, like, uh, they like a somersault out of your throw. If you get close enough to enemies, you can throw them. Something I'm actually trying to avoid, because bosses, uh, usually knock you out of it. You do damage that way. So I just tend to stick by grabbing them on the boot, hitting them while they're down, doing jump kicks to get them on the floor. I don't know what the fuck those are supposed to be. I don't know, they me out. <laughs> Get out of here! You can't defeat me on Friday with my breath! Salamander, uh, boss too. Knock it out of him. There we go. Also, don't try and go for him from the feet area, because he'll, like, do a kick and knock you out of it as well. Yeah, I know a lot about this game. I don't know if I'm as good at it as I was back then. Alright, now it's just you. See, like that there. 
just did that. Kick you. There we go. That was close. Well, not looking too good for the next stage. That's where the trouble starts. Hey, Billiard Head, what do you know about Grand Zero? Not much, I'm just a slave. I do know the boss is a woman. What? If you want more details, go to the Lexington... The Lexington King Disco at the Lower East Side. Another Technos game. Miss those guys. Ah, oh, now these guys. Well, they come out sort of the time, so. As long as you keep this up, a whole bunch of them won't come out and try to... Who's coming? They catch him from behind like so, and then pummel. I need to help myself for the boss of here. Yeah, so you're the Combatron! The Salamanders told me about you! I'm afraid you'll not learn anything from me. I'll destroy you right here now. <laughs> Shit. Oh, get over here. Damn it. Not too hard by himself. Just gotta contend with his friend, though, darting back and forth. Okay. Now see how I knocked him down, but he still has his weapon. He doesn't like the little weapon. Oh dear. Can't let him uh, can't get distance on me. Ooh, got him! Once you kill a boss, the enemy is dropping one hit too. Okay. Well, doing better in my practice run. Maybe I just needed that little bit to get better at this game. So, you piece of trash. <laughs> You've been as strong as you think. Tell me about Grand Zero. Not in your life, even if I knew I wouldn't tell you. Go see the barbarians at the stadium in Harlem. Defeat them and they'll talk. <laughs> this runaround really stinks. It's like an RPG or something. Blitz would not be a fan of Rogue Galaxy, because holy shit. Oh boy. These guys with the knives can really fuck up my day. So let's take care of them quickly. The only thing with Blitz is, being fast, he does have the least amount of health. You can see the bald guys again. Okay, there's the throw. Don't want to do it on the knife guys either. Like, Yeah, there's a couple enemies that start to break out of your throw as well. That's why you won't see me go for it. If I, if I get it, it's because they're super close. And I'm gonna automatically grab him anyway. I hate that shit. Alright, so who awaits us at the stadium? Oh boy. I am the famous Windwalker. If you defeat me, I'll tell you everything you want. But I warn you, I have never been defeated. I fight for the honor of all warriors. Ooh, see how much damage that did. Rid of him? Oh fuck. This is where the shit starts. Sharp object to the left and right of me. Oop. Didn't mean to grab him. And I'm gonna die. Yeah, as soon as I try to move, they get me. I'll select a That's just you. I wish I had this earlier. I probably wouldn't have lost the life. The credit, rather. Yeah. One life to continue. That's why I put the credits on so high. I think in the arcade you get like a number instead of a life bar. I like this setup better. I'm not liking it in simplicity. Never played the arcade game. I've seen it played before. 
Now tell me about the boss of Ground Zero. Ground Zero is the evil organization that unified all gangs in New York City. It's controlled by a woman who appeared one day. She has quickly unified all gangs. Who is this woman? Her name is Martha. Martha Splatterhead, that's what they call her. As expected, where is she? Ground Zero headquarters located in 1991 GZ Ave. Oh, did GZ stand for Ground Zero? I would have never guessed. And welcome to the Boss Rush. Also this elevator music that continues to rage on and on. Yeah, I guess it's a... Uh, I guess they keep it somber to not be like super annoying over and over again. Didn't really fit the tone of the beat-em-up, but I guess they wanted like elevator music. Why do I say elevator music? Well, you'll see as soon as I get past the... Uh, Oh, see, that, that's what I mean by that grab. That's why I usually go for the jump kick so I can get him on the ground. Come on. If I could do that to him, I would take him out super quickly. I usually kill him before the rest of the rabble shows up. I'm missing where I'm supposed to be standing on the jumps and shit. There. Now we get to what I mean by the elevator. flanked by these two guys. Thankfully, if you fuck up, as you saw there, I might have taken some damage there a little bit, where the red was showing. It refills after every single transition, so... As long as you can make it to the end, you don't have to worry about getting too worked over. Same strategy as before, just keep him... Kind of keep him looped, or try to. Otherwise, you get flanked. So you even ran into him, just running into dudes can hit him. I don't know if that counts as damage, though. him instead of the big guy. Stomp. Oh, yeah, I knew I was too far away for that. Okay, got him. And down he goes. I still like to spin him by the watcher call it. Only gets like one rotation with him, you know, the giant swing. The other characters uh, get a little more. I think uh, Berserker, the middle ground guy, he gets three complete rotations. Bullet Bush is like whipping him around like, <laughs> like he's nothing. But he's so slow. He's got the most health. Probably does the most damage too. But man, is he slow. I know you have, I know you have the lowest, lowest health, but I'm used to you, I think. You. Now I gotta deal with two of them. Hey! You were on screen. You weren't supposed to do that. Yeah, this is not good. Should be approaching him from the side angle, make him come to shit. Fucker, I thought he was gonna come around the other side. Oh, fuck these guys. cross him up for some reason. Yeah, I was gonna get hit 
there no matter what. Whoop, no, no, no. Not switching. Alright, well, at least I knocked him down. I think Windwalker had a different name in the arcade. Or am I thinking Sunset Riders guy? Hmm, that's Maybe I'll do that next time. Who knows? Hey, come on, screen, you little bastard. side now. Forget if zero counts as a credit. I don't think so. Alright, we know who's next. I can do a little better with him and not lose another credit to the, this guy with the setup and the fucking roach. to stand still so you can like, knock dudes in them and they'll take hits. Oh, come on, game. I was trying to dash at him like three times to do the kick and... This fucking backup keeps fucking me up. I swear, it's better this with a SNES controller because you don't have to push it down as far as this uh, PlayStation controller. It's throwing off my timing. Like, I never used to lose this much credits in this game. Only thrash, uh, trash would give me this much trouble. Everybody else was kind of like, yeah, okay. What, do you got a shot in? Really? That's bull. Of course, I could be forgetting how to fight him, too. It's that as well. I'm gonna 100% blame him for that. I used to remember some things about this game, but I guess I can't be expected to remember all of it. Oh, these guys with the guns. Yeah, give them an inch. Take the shot. Ooh, wow, you missed. Didn't miss that time. Shit. See what I mean? We're getting too close. I want to surround me, too. Motherfucker. Didn't even see him until he came on screen. Kill you, please. I'm afraid to do that because then they're going to shoot me. Or they can just shoot me out of whatever. Lose another fucking credit though. I got a boss to fight. Now you I remember having a name change. I don't know the plot of the arcade, but there's like I guess like this mafia guy that was like building robot people. 
that here is, I'm David, the colonel from the third division. Now I am a cyborg and you are powerless against me. Uh, yeah, I think he's, what's his name? M Blaster, like Major Blaster or Master Blaster or something like that. In the arcade, his name is Swastika. Pain in the ass, I can't jump kick because he can beat me out of that like that there. I think this is the strategy here. Is there another gun guy coming? Yeah. Get him all on one side. I can avoid that. I can not get too close. Like a bullshit hit like that. He's got knife hands. Ooh, thank you. Be kind and let me do that shit. He just does that all the time. Gim? You're doing bullshit now. Maybe I should do kicks? And couldn't stomp on him for some reason? Ugh. I just remember the policeman exactly, now I don't have it. He's got one too, that's what I'm trying to do, get around him. There. Credits I got for the final boss. I, I was beaten. Why did you escape from the army? Army's biotech lab made Martha and I into cyborgs and we wanted revenge. That is why we formed the Ground Zero organization. Where's Martha? On the rooftop, she's very powerful. Oh God, she's running on electricity. We were hoping it wasn't you been looking for you for a long time, why don't you come back with us? Back where? To the lab? No way, you must eliminate me. Is there any way you will come with us? No, I will fight until I am defeated. The final battle is now! All I really have is, uh... I think I'm still in a two-player strategy of just... They would alternate, like, running attacks and just, like, lock the bitch in place and just not be able to do anything here. I only won myself and this is the only... A lot of her shit out prioritizes me. I am definitely gonna lose a credit or two here. Wow, let most of that go though. See what I mean? I don't know. See, I was in the middle of getting up and she took me back down. This is really the only thing I can try to do. Like, I'll run at her, but you'll see me, like, go a little, uh, lower each time, maybe? Like, again, that's the only thing I've seen. I don't know what the strategy is to go, like, hitless or deathless in this game. Especially when she's got me locked in the corner like that. Don't want to be there. Please let Zero be a credit. I don't want to lose here. I want to miss close to the end. Oh, this fucking bitch. Okay, now I'm whiffing and making stupid mistakes. See how that was like almost consistent hitting her with that? That's all I got. Of course she's gonna not knock me out of my fucking dash doing it. And I'm not fast enough to get around her. Come on, Gim. Gim? Fuck. Alright, this is it. Why am I on the other side? Why am I fucking up so badly? Come 
Come on, don't do this. Don't do this. Come on, I actually won the practice. I think I actually have one more credit. I don't know what's happening here. She's just not having any of my shit. Okay. Fuck, that did not need to be that close. I mean, I know I'm used to losing credits to her, but I'm usually have more credits on hand for, by the time I get to her. To tell you the truth, I was hoping you would find me. I cannot control myself. It is only you that can stop my destructive cyborg acts. Thank you. Pew. You didn't boot her. Outta here, blue jumpsuit. I almost game over fighting her and get all the credit. And now for the standard stock of Double Dragon, I guess, Technos ending where they just like, hey, they won, and then they're just gonna disappear now. I guess that's like an easy way out, like if your Goom failed and you didn't have to make a sequel or anything, you're just like, yeah, whatever, they they just disappeared. They kicked at, they, they, they came, they saw, they conquered and then they left, arrive, kick ass, leave. Yeah, I know I struggle with this game, but I like it. Music's really good, everyone did a good job with that. Oh no, I just missed Technos. They never did get another game. Other Technos kind of trade west other um, franchises like Double Dragon still lives on. Kunio Kun's getting a whole bunch of shit. I still have to get on uh, PS3. There's like two of them that came out on uh, PS4. But that'll do for uh, today. I'm sure I'll think of something for tomorrow, so. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching.